previously I showed you how to install this RGBW LED strip. They are really cool because they can change colors, any colors of the rainbow. I installed the LED strip in the kids room and I also paired the LED strip with this Zeus 72. This is a Z-Wave dimmer switch and it is super sweet. Even if you don't use it with an LED strip like I'm using, you can use it as a normal light LED dimmer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of this dimmer because this is more than just an on and off. For instance, you can double tap up to do something else. You can press and hold up to do something else. You can press and hold down to do something else. Or you can double tap down. Let's go back to the LED strip that I installed in the kids room. Sometimes I want the light to be super bright to wake up the kids in the morning for instance. And I want to do it manually. All I have to do is double tap on the up button and then the LED strip will turn on super bright. Sometimes I want it to be in night mode or night light mode. And then all I have to do is double tap down and it will dim all the colors down to a nice soothing blue LED light color. To make the dimmer work with Home Assistant to do double tap or triple tap or whatever, go ahead and go into your settings, integrations, go down to Z-Wave and click on the devices, find your device, and then click on configure. Go down to parameter 12 and parameter 13. For parameter 12, go ahead and disable double tap. For parameter 13, enable the scene control. Now let's create an automation based on this. Go to settings and then go over to automations. Here you can see I created one already. It's called Zeus double press up for day mode. For you, you're going to create a new automation and then click on add trigger. Click on device. For me, I have the device is light second front bed. For device trigger, it will be scene 001. And the value will be key press twice. As you can see, you can have a bunch of options with the keys. Key press, release, held down, press twice, press three times, four, five times. I'm just going to do a simple, which is key press twice. So when I press the up button twice, what we'll do is going to change the LED strip to be super bright. The service will be turned light on. The target will be the LED strip. And here are all the values to make sure that the LED is nice and bright. The brightness will be 100% and then click on save. And that's it. Let's take a look at an example for double press down to turn it into night mode. So same thing, you're going to add a new automation and this time you're going to have add trigger. The trigger will be device, which for me is still the same light second front bed. The device trigger will be scene 002. That's for the down button. The value press will be twice, which is pressing the down button twice. When I press the down button twice, what we'll do is go and turn the light on. The target will be the LED strip. Here you can see the values are a little bit smaller, so it's more suitable for night mode. Go down to brightness, and the brightness will be 8%. And then click on save. This is just for the kids' room, and you can see how powerful it is. I also have these dimmers in the living room, kitchen, and my own bedroom. So for instance, in the living room, when I double press up, it will turn the fan on as well. When I double press down, it's going to turn the fan off. If I press and hold, then it's going to turn the fan on to high speed. In my bedroom, when I double press on the up button, it's going to turn the alarm on. When I double press down, it's going to disable all the alarm system in the house. Pretty slick, right? Alright, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. I would love to know what you're using for these Scene 001 and Scene 02. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.